Today is May 17 and we're going to go through my backyard garden again to see if anything new grow. We have lots of rain so it was good for plants and so here like you see baby cucumbers don't know they keep falling off then I read in one of the article were actually my leaves like this uh, you can put Epsom salt and it should serve it looks like it means like needs magnesium so I'm going to put Epsom salt so it should make this leaves look better and I think I had it like on lots of my plants here's some tomatoes and more tomatoes and I'm going to pick up today this piece. Looks like it's ready to be picked. And then you will like the zucchini. It's like a huge zucchini, which I'm going to pick up later after I finish this video. And I finally trained this cucumber to go on this wall. And the little one start doing this too. So the lilies has beautiful color. Hibiscus and oh, my white rose is about to. Mm -hmm. Pomegranate trees still have some flowers, not much. I wonder if we have any pomegranate, but it looks like all the flowers falling off. But at least this year we have some flowers, which is already progress. This, all this from the seeds from last year here's the citrus and this is going to be rose soon okay and here the citrus looks like um, lemons is getting bigger and beautiful day leaves and more you can see yeah you can see it's getting bigger and this one here, my daily is so beautiful. Well, more. And roses. And this hibiscus I moved. And it looks like it's doing good here. Because it didn't have. And here's like all the colors of summer. It looks so pretty. I like it when I sit on my porch. And I look on all these colors. It's like so pretty. It doesn't look like. We will have any peaches, for some reason they all fell off. It uh, doesn't look like peaches grow good in um, Texas. And there are some leftovers of mulberry. This bush is still trying to decide to cut it off or just like trim it. Last year I trim it, but it just grow too fast. And here is a beautiful butterfly. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, look at this beauty. She's so beautiful. Surprising, she just sit on the ugliest list. Leaf, I mean. Where did it go? Let's see how close I can go. I can see it here. Where is it? Ah, here we go. So beautiful. can see its eyes and it's just sitting there so smell really good here like you can see oh I need to zoom out these flowers and it's like you basically don't see the fans at all so which was my goal and it's now a butterfly or is it the same one I don't know here's my roses and there's like where was a lizard and this black lizard I don't know if you notice this it's over there and here another little body hiding yeah pretending he's a leaf yeah surprisingly my cats didn't get them yet um oh and I noticed on my line 
I have two little limes here. You can see it. And then it's a good tiny one. Which, which makes sense because I planted most of my citrus trees about three years ago and now some of them start producing and my apple tree and then you see where I just noticed ladybug working I guess it has oh my god it had so many aphids but ladybug is there which is amazing hopefully she will I will spray it later but it looks like ladybug is working on it and she has plenty of food wow I didn't realize it till I saw this ladybug so I guess she's trying to get all this nasty stuff that will yeah when I, I will have to spray it I will spray it with some um, soapy water because I try to use organic stuff and soap water or just maybe lots of water and here was another butterfly just flew away so it looks like now I have just two papayas left and it's still not ready but I'm gonna pick up and this one starts growing after I pick up the biggest one and manga tree keep growing another lizard over there See it. So I have so many different colors. So Let's see this one. Yeah. Oh, oh, I did it too close. A lock. Well, it looks beautiful. And it's just three years old tree, which I grow from a seed, butterfly bush, and one of my citrus here actually had some baby citruses but I killed fruit but I forgot which one I'm not going to look and tomatoes look healthy after I fertilize it and with water like and they had lots of rain and here I have flowers on my strawberry grapes and my cactus and ala here this strawberry has strawberries and flowers this looks really good I need to work on my weeding but it's usually get too hot and my mint is doing good I want to see how it will grow on those pots because this pots this one I guess didn't water and died but it's been doing good because it would be nice to have by the door and this pot is hard to use for something else here tomatoes this looks nice and healthy so and then I also read that it's good to sprinkle baking soda which is supposed to make your tomatoes sweeter and my corn and I need to get my beet root because it's getting too hot. This one has a little cherry tomato. And these tomatoes had some tomatoes. And so I can't wait to see when I will have them ready. And I have some broccoli. We pick up some, like I pick up some for salad being lazy i could like my green salad every day but sometimes i'm just not doing this this has new growth and it's like um this is my grapefruit the one which has just one grapefruit ah uh, here it looks bigger and figs tree Big start getting bigger and my new mandarin looks like it has new growth so it's doing good in this pot and I planted here tomatoes and zucchini and 
so I'm doing good and then I think I have some flower growing here and this roses doing good and I have some daisy and this pepper is doing good so I probably will pick it up I just need to make some soup soon and finally my kumquat looks like it's about to flower because I was wondering why I don't have any flowers because we usually have lots of them and like you can see we're about to open up and like it's basically everywhere so usually we have this plant covered with with fruit and here's Pinky she wants to be in the video and here's another corner of colorful flowers and this rose this is a new rose for this year and I think it's about everything and grass is again growing too fast my son need to cut it again he cut so it's this time of a year when we have to cut grass every single week so I hope you enjoy my video